fed up, hundreds of demonstrators took to the streets of Goma in eastern Congo on Thursday, lashing out at what they see as the failings of the international community in tackling the rebel insurgency in the east. The international community is practicing double standards. Today we urge it to call out Rwanda and to tell it to remove its forces, namely the M23, but also its army, the Ugandan army, and all its allies who are present on our territory. Flanked by police, demonstrators marched towards the French and British consulates. The demonstration comes after regional leaders on Thursday announced a ceasefire in eastern DRC. It's due to come into effect on Friday. It calls on the M23 rebel group to lay down weapons and withdraw from the territories it has occupied. Civil society groups in North Kivu, a province where the M23 has seized large swathes of territory, are skeptical. We are sick of it. Our country has already signed so many agreements, it's taken part in so many dialogues. But people continue to flee. They're being housed in camps. And we're not receiving any help. We need peace and security. It's our right. The international community must stop with this hypocrisy. Another bone of contention, a UN Security Council resolution which obligates arms suppliers to notify the council about supplying weapons to DRC government troops. Demonstrators say this is tantamount to a weapons embargo, preventing the DRC from defending itself against the M23. Two days ago, the council said it was willing to re-examine the resolution.